Hi there, this is Jillian with Caribbean Caterers. And if you are wondering how to seat your guests for your gala, you're in the right place. So what's next? Do we just put people in a room? Well, no, again, you have three options. You have, you can do open seating, which is where you let your guests sit wherever they would like to sit. You can do table assignments, which is where you can assign, if you've chosen, say, eight people seated per table, you can choose the eight people that will sit at a specific table and assign people to that table. And then there's the seat assignment, where you are doing a place card on each seat that everybody has a specific seat at a table in the room. Let's talk about the pros and cons of some of these. First, the style of the event. If your event is super formal, you may want to look at the assignment by seat, particularly if you have people who need to be recognized either globally by the whole room or individually at their tables and so on. Doing seating assignment is a, a good way to do that and really suits the very ultra formal type of event. Seating by table is a little less formal, still formal enough, but you've got to find a way to let people know which table they are seated on usually by way of a seating chart or some other visual that guests could know which where they're seated on. Now, because you're at a gala, which means that you may have people coming into the gala at different times, sometimes they do that seating at registration. So when you get your registration packet, it also has your table number associated in there as well. So there's a number of ways to affect people getting to know what table they're seated on. And then of course, if you have a very large room, you want to have ushers that can get people to the right zone to find their tables and so on. And the final way, which is the least formal, is the open seating, which is where you let people choose their own seats. Pros and cons of that, one pro for you is that you can forego the work that needs to be done to actually figure out where you want people to be seated, either by table or by seat. It's an undertaking, but it certainly creates a better situation on the floor in terms of people getting easily seat. So if you want to look at that as a pro in terms of less work for you, but a major con for that would be that people tend not to pack in to seats. So if you had eight seats at a table, the first couple comes in and they're seated. The next couple comes to the table and they typically don't sit right next to the first couple, they would leave a seat open in between and leave one seat free and sit in the next two seats. It's typically what the average person does. And so on, another couple will come and do the same. So when the fourth couple comes now, there are just two seats that are not next to each other at the table anymore. And that's an uncomfortable situation. So that tends to be a con with open seating then in that case that couple just looks around the room for another seat table that has two seats together and we hope this has been helpful be sure to call us here at caribbean caterers so that we can schedule that site visit with you to help you further foster this very important seemingly trivial but very important part of your gala planning we are here to just make it easy for you and create a guest experience that you would want for your guests. So again, it's Jillian with Caribbean Caterers. See you soon.